And happening right now, a former gang member is walking the walk. He's going door to door in San Diego's communities plagued by gang violence. The goal is to start a conversation and hopefully create solutions. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson and I'm Lindsay Pena. 10 News reporter Lauren Davis is live in Logan Heights and Lauren, some neighbors are seeing an increase in gang violence. That's right. You can see them gathered here behind me. They've for the last hour, they've been going door to door talking to people right now. They're having a meeting just discussing what they've heard from the residents and some of those concerns. They're creating this conversation and also listening to the members of the community. Cornelius Bowser is a former Crips gang member. Now he's trying to prevent gang violence simply by walking and talking. We walk those communities, those hotspots, these communities to talk to the residents, to offer them resources. Gang violence is a problem in San Diego. There were 90 murders last year, up 24 from the previous year. Bishop Bowser's approach is to go with other pastors inside the homes to get answers. When the community gets more involved, we're able to have more eyes and ears out in the community to be able to help prevent crime from happening, but also to solve crimes when they do happen. I asked Bishop Bowser what kind of response he gets from the people who live here. We get good reaction from them because, you know, some people feel they we're OK, you know, we don't have no problems and so on. But then there's others that give you an earful as far as the issues that they have and things they want done. And so we work with them. This is the front end of their prevention efforts, but they are also there on the back end. As soon as the sirens go on after a crime is committed, he's also on the way. We get to the crime scene, we get to the hospitals, and we try to offer, offer uh, support to the victims, but we also work in the community to de-escalate the violence. It's something this former gang member feels is the best way to combat the killings. Yeah, and one of the residents they spoke with say that they see stolen cars that are showing up on the roadway. That's something that they want to talk to police about and underage drinking here in the park. So those are some of the things that they're hearing from the residents. Coming up tonight at 7 o'clock, we're going to talk to one of the people who live here that experienced gun violence on this very sidewalk last year and hear what she has to say. That's coming up tonight at 7. Reporting live in Logan Heights, Lauren Davis, 10 News. Lauren, thank you.